wait, what is this? This is a data analysis GPT by ChatGPT. So what's the difference between that and the actual data analysis mode inside of ChatGPT? All right, it's a little confusing, so let's dive in and figure this out. What's going on, y'all? My name is Jordan Wilson. If you didn't know, I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're the number one most listened to AI podcast in the world, but we're also a live stream newsletter and bringing you daily tutorials. So make sure to go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter. So now let's jump into what we're talking about today. This is the AI in five. We spent about five minutes, uh, you know, going over a different AI a tool, tip, technique to help you grow your company, grow your career. So if you go into ChatGPT, you'll see that there's this data analyst. So it's kind of confusing, right? Because actually, when you go into normal ChatGPT, there is a data analysis mode, right? So uh, most people don't know this, but you can do within the default mode, it used to be all different modes, but now you have access to Dolly, browse with Bing, and data analysis. So a lot of people are confused. What's the difference if I just use data analysis here versus if I use this new GPT? Well, I don't pretend to know all the answers, but let's just find out together. So we're going to go ahead and do what you should always do is ask chat GPT the difference, right? Uh, so I'm going to zoom in here, but it essentially is saying the data analyst GPT, like myself, is a customized version of ChatGPT that's specifically tailored for data analysis tasks. So essentially, I'm asking here, what's the difference between this data analyst GPT and the data analysis mode inside of the default ChatGPT? So it's essentially going over here over the pros and the cons. It's essentially saying that there's some customizations, including some enhanced capabilities to understand and generate more technical data-focused content. So Still a little confusing. So I thought, all right, well, what better way to do this than just let's try a couple different prompts using uh, uploading a spreadsheet and seeing how the default mode handles it versus how uh, the data analyst GPT handles it. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Got a prompt ready to go. Uh, this is going to be quick. Don't worry. So essentially, I'm up. I have a prompt here. I have some uh, some newsletter data, essentially. So uh, our, our newsletter, I'm uploading it all right there. And I have this kind of long-ish prompt, essentially giving it a task and telling it to analyze this data, okay? So we're gonna give this a second here. And this is, again, this is the default mode. And then we're gonna get a new, uh, sorry, I know we're kind of jumping all around here. So we're gonna get a new uh, data analyst GPT. We can't run them at the same time. It'll crash, unfortunately. So we're going to wait until this one is done. Oh, not that one. See, we got too many. We got too many windows here. All right, here we go. So here is our default mode. So we're going to wait until this is done. And then we're going to look at some of the different insights gained from each one. All right. So if you haven't used the data analysis, even just the mode inside of ChatGPT, it's actually pretty incredible. Uh, people don't understand what it's capable of. Um, so you can see right here, it's, there's, I mean, not a ton of data points in this, uh, spreadsheet. I uploaded probably a couple thousand, so it's not a huge spreadsheet, uh, with a ton of data, but there's a lot of different, uh, information in there. There's dates, um, subject lines, uh, open rates, click rates, web view rates. So, you know, there's probably about, uh, you know, 10 to 15 different, uh, data points for hundreds of newsletters. All right. So. We go through here, it's almost done. So let's look at the output even. So it's outputting inside the default mode, it's outputting in Python. Um, so we did ask for that. So we're trying to, you know, Python's a little, it's it's not complicated, right? Um, you know, it's kind of a very common programming language, but that's why we're doing it inside of each of these modes to see, okay, even with Python, let's, you know, kind of push it to the limit a little bit. We're not just asking it to, um, you know, read through a spreadsheet and tell us something. We're asking it to do a little bit of heavy, heavy lifting. So did a pretty good job here, uh, kind of charted everything, um, you know, kind of by days of the week. That's what we asked for. Still going here. So one thing I'm finding pretty impressive so far. Um, I've used, I use this mode uh, fairly often, but uh, there were some new updates. Uh, reportedly, Sam Altman said, on uh, on Twitter that they just released some new updates this week, um, improving the model, getting rid of some of the laziness. And I'm already seeing that. Uh, this is performing, uh, data analysis is performing much better um, than it did the last time I kind of dove in pretty deep like a week or two ago. Uh, so you'll see here multiple Python outputs uh, going into some, some pretty decent depth here, um, as well as this chart. 
So it took a while. It took a while, but finally finished. It took probably about two minutes. Put it should have put on the stopwatch. All right. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're jumping over into the data analyst G, uh, chat GPT mode. All right. So let's go ahead. We're going to open this up. We're going to upload it and we're doing the exact same thing. So now what I'm going to um, pay attention to is the handling. Does this data analyst GPT handle the process any differently, any better, any worse than using the default mode inside of chat GPT? So a couple of things to keep in mind right? Because there's pros and cons. Uh, we're not sure, but we could test it. We don't know what other capabilities the data analyst GPT has. As an example, is there Dolly access? Let's just say I wanted to, you know, who knows why I would want to, but you know, I'd say, all right, well now make an image. I'm going to write a blog post for this to so make an image for the blog post, right? Uh, I can do that in the default mode. I can browse with Bing in the default mode. So I'm actually not sure. We're going to try once this is done to see if those modes are enabled. A lot of times, uh, you, you know, especially chat GPT, they're not going to tell you if those uh, features are enabled inside of this custom GPT. All right. So, so far, and I'm kind of, uh, I'm going to be kind of comparing this, uh, you know, across my two screens just to see. So, so far it's, it's, it's pretty similar. It's doing uh, the first output. It's the same. It's outputting the same kind of uh, this Python code right here, going over the subject lines. All right. Let's continue to scroll here. Again, I know you can't see my my comparison, but uh, I'm going to try to talk you through it. So our second, uh, so let's see, there's our first one. So our second one here, it's converting uh, the days. Okay, so that's that's something important to know. Um, all I had was the dates. I didn't have the days of the week, but I wanted the days of the week. That's important, right? Uh, so it's going through in this in this Python and it's um, you know writing some code here to convert everything. Same thing as, as what happened in the uh, the default mode. So kind of two for two, it's kind of the same. All right, so next we're scrolling down. So here's, here's where it's starting to get a little different. All right, so we're starting to get some errors here. It looks like nothing, nothing crazy, but we're starting to get some errors here on the data analysis mode. Um, I'm not quite uh, technical enough to fully understand uh, these. I, these these kernel errors that are uh, popping up here. Uh, so I scroll down here, but it does give me uh, kind of the average open and click rate per day of the week, which I did also get that um, in the in the default mode. Everything's the same. So so far, everything's the same. There was an error analyzing for the visualization, uh, which we did not get in the uh, the default mode. Uh, so let's see. Usually it would go through and handle that error on its own. Um, so. You can see that's what it's doing right now. It says it seems there was an error in plotting due to the presence of, I, I, I used to know what that is, or unexpected values uh, in the day of the week data. So <clears throat> it's going through and it's uh, kind of uh, not self-healing, but it's it's fixing itself. It's fixing its own analysis, which is something that advanced uh, data analysis always does. If it if you ask it for something and if on the first attempt, it doesn't work, it's not just going to spit out an error. It's going to go through and try to fix it according to what it finds, right? All right, so we're gonna keep scrolling through here. So we got an error, right? So we got an error, it said there was an error generating a response. So again, this was a one-time quick five minute, um, you know, five minute kind of showdown here, so to speak. So uh, what I will see, what I will say is um, pretty, pretty similar, right? So, uh, even if I toggle between, so you know, the, the the GPT version did error out, right? But um, here's the GPT version. So we have average opens and clicks per days of the week. Uh, we have the same thing here. So it got all of that. Uh, it got all of that correct. Um, I think this the the chart's a little better in the default mode. But you know, if I would have asked for oh two different colors. You know, I'm sure it would have done that accordingly. So let's just go ahead. So yeah, unfortunately, the data analysis mode did error out. So I would have to go through and regenerate. Whereas on the default mode, it kind of went through it on its own. Uh, let me tell you this. That does not mean that the data analyst GPT is worse than the normal uh, GPT version. There are a lot of semantics. There's details here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick comparison to show sometimes uh, there's there's pros and cons to each one. We'd have to dive in a little bit deeper, but at least for right now, we're getting, if, if I had to say kind of conclusion, um, I would say we got very similar data 
in the data analysis GPT versus the default mode. The default mode did not error out, whereas the uh, data uh, the data analyst GPT did. However, even if you go and look, um, if you look at the original uh, kind of prompt that I sent out there, it does look like there are some advantages to using the data analyst GPT. However, the stability, again, this is one test. You got to keep stability in mind. If, if, if you're trying to use this and the data analyst GPT keeps timing out or you have to keep regenerating, there might be, uh, it, at least it might be too soon. You know, this is a little newer. This uh, GPT was just uh, released, I believe, a couple of weeks ago. So it's something to keep an eye on. All right. I know this was a more technical uh, AI in five. That was an AI in 10. But if this is helpful, please let me know. Also, go to youreverydayai.com. Sign up for that free daily newsletter and hope to see you back for another one. Thanks, y'all.